Hi, I'd like to look at an example here for taking some derivatives. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to look at this situation here, and I'll draw it out, where I've got um, some guy, right, standing around, and he's uh, swinging a rope over his head. So there's a rope here, and he's got a rope over his head, and I'll put it there, and on that rope is a, actually a ball, right? So he's swinging this ball around here, going in a circle that way, um, counterclockwise if you're looking down, and um, and I want to find out information about that trajectory. Uh, so, you know, I want to, if I'm given all of this stuff, so I'm given um, a uh, circular tra trajectory. Uh, radius um, A. A is a common radius net letter. Um, and uh, constant speed, so the uh, so the ball's swinging around at a constant rate. Um, let's see, angular speed omega. Okay, and I'll switch that up here. Then um, I want to find, you know, these sort of kinematic variables. Um, A, its trajectory. which is denoted R of T, um, its velocity, which is R dot of T, or R prime of T in the book, but, um, you know, we're physicists, we're engineers, we're not um, mathematicians, so we use this very useful dot notation because we do time derivatives all by themselves all the time and acceleration r double dot all right so i want to find these three quantities all right um if from just this description right so let's say we also have this man here he's got a height h and let's pretend that this is twice his height Ah, oh, wonderful. So, let's just go about this. So, first we want to just um, figure out what we're going to do with this, right? Um, let's start off with um, choosing a center. So, we're going to choose... So, one is choose a center. And I'll start with a center C equal to... 0, 0, so it's right over his head, so I'm going to make this axis um, the z-axis. Why this wants to do that, I don't know. The height up here is 2h, and 0, 0, 2h, all right? Let's see, what else do we want to know? We want an equation for a circle. So we want to write an equation for a circle. So we want to write an equation for a circle based on um, just anywhere. We can just do that, right? So we'll say we want just this horizontal circle, so we'll write that. Um, and we will call that a equals a vector of t, or no, no, a vector of theta, let's say, is equal to a cosine theta, a sine theta, and zero. So that's just, right now that's sitting around there. And then I'll add them together. Or no, actually I want to substitute. So I'll substitute in uh, theta equals omega t. Oh, so we have a of t now is a cosine omega t sine omega t zero and then I add them up so add so r of t is going to be a which is a constant plus or a of theta or a of t excuse me 
plus C, which is a constant. So now we're ready. And we have um, uh, A cosine omega T, uh, A sine omega T, and since, yeah, I'll just do it 2H. So I've added this to this. Uh, which is really easy because where this is non-zero, this is zero, and where this is non-zero, that's zero. So I, I don't see any reason to go into too much detail for that. So we've already got a nice, simple, um, a nice, simple-looking form for that. And now to B, we're going to go and um, find his derivative. Find the velocity, and we do that by taking the derivative. All right, so r dot is equal to d dt of this vector, a cosine omega t, a sine omega t, and 2h. And how this works is that this is a linear operator. A linear operator just pops in here uh, like any other linear thing. Um, so it'll act just like a scalar and distribute through the vector. So we have ddt, a cosine omega t, ddt, a sine omega t, and dh, or d2h dt. Okay, and this is generally minus sine a omega sine omega t your old hat at all this uh, derivative taking stuff. So omega a, a omega, all right, cosine omega t, and then this guy here is zero, right? So the velocity is all in this plane, which makes a lot of sense because it's all only circulating around in that plane. It's not going up, it's not going down, it's just circulating around in a circle because it's a circle and circles circulate. That's sort of what they do. All right, and finally, I want to find its acceleration. And I do it the same old way we always have, right? Um, our double dot of t is equal to our dot of ddt, our dot of t. And that is equal to Let's see, dt minus a omega sine omega t, a omega cosine omega t, and a zero, all right? And again, we can distribute, um, let's see, distribute all that out. So we have um, minus a omega d dt sine omega t, and we have um, a omega dt cosine omega t and a ddt of zero, which is just zero. And that's all going to, so we're going to have um, cos omega cosine t from this guy. So we have minus a um, omega squared cosine omega t and we have minus a omega squared sine omega t and a zero at the end, which can't see that there's a zero right there. All right, so that's our acceleration. And so all of this is happening just in uh, the plane, right? There's nothing coming out of the plane. So I've got, uh, let, yeah, let's blow up the circle here. So I've got this circle coming around like that in a plane, right? And at any given point, the velocity is perpendicular or is tangential, and um, the acceleration is centripetal. It goes to the center of this um, this circle, even though the rope, right, rope is coming down this way, 
and I mean it's in line with this, only it's coming, it's in line in this plane. So the projection of the rope on the plane is in the same direction as the acceleration, um, which is r double dot. But that's about it. Okay. So hopefully that's sufficient to get you understanding how you take the derivatives of a vector with a, take the derivatives of a parameter of a vector. There you go. All right. Well, thank you very much, and I'll see you in class. Bye.